Are you having anterior pelvic tilt, which is the overarching of your low back spine? So get ready and join me in ABLE and show you some simple strength training and stretching exercises to target four muscle groups that are tight. Some of them are tight and some are weak. So get your mat ready and join me. So let's discuss about the anatomy of the muscles that are going to be targeted on this exercise program. There's some weakness on your abdominal muscles. The abdominals, usually when you have anterior pelvic tilt, is tucked forward like this. So you have an increased arch on your back because of prolonged sitting, driving, or when your job requires you in a lot of sitting. So you ended up with this weakness on your abdominals. And then your low back area, which is your spinal lumbar spine, usually we have a normal curvature of our spine, like 85% of men and 75% of women have a normal gentle arch of our spine called lumbar lordosis. But with this prolonged sitting, you ended up with increased lumbar lordosis, which is exaggerated. So you ended up with your abdominal protruding forward, and then your low back really tight like this so you ended up walking and then your glutes muscles gets really weak as well with your butt cheeks out and then what happens your hip flexors which is the iliopsoas that i did the hip flexor stretching last week that you can also check out gets really tight and overworked so when you walk sit and stand you have this exaggerated posture so i'm doing an exaggeration of anterior pelvic tilt and to do posterior tilt which is flattening of your back is usually very difficult so the first one is to keep your back in neutral spine so when you lie down on your back you want to make sure your back is not too high like this usually when you increase lordosis your spine is arched like this and then you can see the space and when you put the small of your hand at the back with your knees bent you will see there's a big space here when you have this syndrome or what we call the lower cross syndrome so the exercise I'm recommending so you're gonna take a deep breath through your nose and then you slowly lower your Increase lumbar lordosis to flatten to posterior pelvic tilt. Do it 10 times with one breath and blow. So you take a deep breath and go relax and then blow. Slowly flatten your back. And you can put the small the hand at the small of your back to feel the pressure on your hand to practice this tilt. It's best to start lying on your back so that it's not too much for you when you do this in sitting up or standing sometimes it's hard for your body awareness with your head down and your shoulders at back of the mat it's going to be better for you to correct your alignment so you take a deep breath through your nose and then slowly flatten and blow and then you feel the pressure at the small of, of your back with your hand so you take a deep breath through your nose arch and then back and blow Take a deep breath through your nose, arch, and back. So after warming up your low back muscles, you want to learn the neutral spine. So with Pilates, you don't want to stand with the post exaggerated posterior pelvic tilt. You want a natural curvature. So now with the small of your hand of the back, then you do breaths here without flattening this time. So after 10 breaths of doing that, my next recommendation is just to do some breaths tightening your abdominal muscles or what we call abdominal bracing and blow through your mouth try to engage your transverse abdominis which is the deep natural corset of your spine which is a deeper core muscles and deeper abdominal muscles so you take a deep breath through your nose belly button in pull your stomach keeping your back now in neutral without flattening now at the, on your hand so keeping that learning that so you take a deep breath through your nose 
and slowly blow through your mouth pull your stomach in try to squeeze your glutes to activate the weakness of your glutes again take a deep breath through your nose and then slowly blow through your mouth pull your stomach in keeping your back in neutral so now you can feel your you can put your hands on your pelvic area to feel if there's any tilting so until your pelvic tilt is forward of your pelvis and posterior is going back and neutral keeping it stable together with your chest so take a deep breath one more belly button in squeeze keeping the small space there and blow after doing that 10 times warming up your muscles it's time now to strengthen your glutes so the first one that's best that's been studied is the bridging so when you do bridge put your hands on the side you take a deep breath pull your belly button in squeeze as hard as you can try to expand your ribs by taking a deep breath to activate the diaphragm muscles squeeze your butt cheeks together or your glutes as hard as you can lift as high as you can but if it's too difficult that's as long as you're not having neck pain that's fine and then slowly go down one vertebrae at a time and blow so you take a deep breath and my recommendation in this one is to do this one breath slowly going down 10 repetitions every day and blow slowly go down squeezing your abdominal muscles we call it abdominal bracing and then one vertebrae at a time touching the mat and blow through your mouth again take a deep breath through your nose squeeze your glutes pull your belly button in try to not hyper extend your back to anterior pelvic tilt keeping your your abdominal muscles brace so that you're not tilting your pelvic so you're gonna hold your hand here if you want to feel it and then slowly go down with your breath and blow to activate your deep core muscles take a deep breath through your nose and lift inhale through your nose squeeze your glutes squeeze your abdominal muscles pull as hard as you can and then slowly go down and now you can feel your glute muscles getting tired so you're really strengthening these deep muscles lift pull your belly button in squeeze your stomach squeeze your glutes as high as you can take a deep breath through your nose and then slowly go down and blow through your mouth touching your spine one vertebrae at a time it's nice to strengthen it and lengthen it so that's the first exercise I'm recommending so 10 times with your breaths so the second one is to stretch your hip flexors so because as I said earlier you have tight hip flexors so one of the exercise I recommend is pigeon stretch it's a yoga stretch so the one behind you is the one we're gonna target bend your knee straighten your left leg so when you're sitting up here you're targeting your hip flexors so if this is too difficult on your knee, I'll show you two types of stretching. You can modify. So you take a deep breath and blow. And you feel this stretch at the back. So you're just targeting your iliacus and your psoas muscles. And then when you turn your body away from it, then you're really stretching more deeper on your hip flexors, your iliopsoas, and then back. So you take a deep breath and slowly turn and blow. Making sure your spine, you're not doing your anterior pelvic tilt, but keeping it in neutral spine. So um, if you're looking up, then you're gonna incorporate the anterior tilt again. Keeping your back straight. And then to progress, you're gonna bend your knee if you can reach it like this. So this is a gentle, but a little bit difficult for those who are not flexible. So for those who are having a hard time keeping this position, lunging is the best way to target on the mat so you won't hurt your knee and slowly lunge forward. So we're targeting the leg behind, targeting this hip flexor. So keep your back straight, neutral spine without the tilt like this, keeping it straight. Take a deep breath with your breath and slowly lean forward and blow feel this lovely stretch and again 
try to twist to the right or away from the leg behind to target the hip flexors. So you take a deep breath, launch, turn to target your hip flexors, and blow. Lovely stretch on your iliopsoas that's really tight with this anterior pelvic tilt position. So the next one is to target your abdominals and the best way to activate your abdominals is to do an elbow plank with your hand clasped together and then feet apart not together keeping your pelvic straight not anterior tilt or posterior pelvic tilt and with planking you're also activating your abdominals so my recommendation is to hold it for 10 seconds hold up to 10 repetitions every single day to help your posture and blow again let's try it again take a deep breath inhale through your nose activate your glutes tight squeeze your glutes squeeze your stomach in to activate your abdominals and blow last one for demonstration purposes take a deep breath and do this up to 10 times at home and hold it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 down okay so we target your abdominals your glutes your hip flexors and your low back and then the last one is to stretch your low back muscles by doing a forward fold so usually you also have tightness on your hamstrings because of that prolonged posture so slowly reach forward stretch your low back and feel that gentle stretch hold it for 10 seconds hold with your breaths and go up so you can feel your stretch in your low back that's been really tight so you lift your hands up take a deep breath and slowly reach for your feet again and hold it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then slowly go up so it's really nice to stretch these deep muscles and strengthen your abdominals during planks and go forward again take a deep breath 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and when you do abdominal exercises it's my recommendation not to do some abdominal crunches because that will promote more anterior pelvic tilt and we don't want that so the planking is the best one and once you correct your daily, if you're doing your daily corrective exercises and your posture has improved and you want to do some abdominal strength training, then you can slowly incorporate your abdominal crunches if you like once you improve your posture and your spine. Last one, take a deep breath. Feel that lovely stretch in your low back and your hamstrings. Take a deep breath through your nose and blow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four three two one and back okay so we target the bridging for your glutes the hip flexor the pigeon stretch the stretch the planking for your abdominal and the forward fold for your low back tightness so those are the four gentle stretching and strength training you can do to target your anterior pelvic tilt position and my recommendation is also to continue strengthening your core muscles by doing my fundamentals pilates as well as you can also do some of my forward head posture because usually with anterior pelvic tilt position you ended up with forward neck and shoulder posture and you can check it out on my previous videos if you want to isolate those muscles thanks again for watching please like and subscribe my channel Ring the notification bell for future updates just like this one. I upload videos every Wednesdays for Pilates and physical therapy treatment plans, Fridays for advanced Pilates and yoga, and Sundays for beginners. Thanks again for watching. Please follow my social media, my Facebook, Instagram, and Reddit. Have a great and healthier you. Bye!